right, hello everyone, and welcome to this happy last Friday in September. Super excited to have everybody here. We had a really nice flow planned. We're gonna start today on our mat. If you want to just um, sit crisscross applesauce, we're doing some nice breathing to start. Have a nice high chest. And you can squeeze your shoulder blades back a little bit together. And if you want to have your hands just resting on your knees, you can. And we're just going to, you can close your eyes if you want or keep them open, but really inhale through our nose, let our belly fill up and then exhale through your mouth. And as you're doing that, try to keep your posture nice and tall and strong. So don't let your chest cave as you're doing that. And we're just kind of bringing ourselves into the moment for a nice restorative yoga flow, uh, really focusing on our hip and chest openers today. And we're gonna just do about three more breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. And one more, inhale and exhale. Now, if you can just take both hands and place them behind your head and you're gonna push your elbows out to the side, look up to the ceiling a little bit and really sit up nice and tall or as tall as you can. And we're gonna just open that chest up. So same breath, really big breath in filling that lower abdomen and a big breath out. Really just kind of reaching those shoulder blades back, trying to pinch your, almost like trying to pinch your elbows behind your back, really focusing on opening our chest and our neck. Good. Now we're gonna just change that breath for about two more cycles. We're gonna do two big inhales in, so a and then we're gonna exhale for four to five seconds. So now you can inhale those two breaths in, nice and quick, filling up your belly through your nose and then exhaling slowly through your mouth. And you can begin that when you're ready. Again, opening that chest, you can look up, you can keep your eyes closed, pinching those shoulder blades back together to kind of get that nice open chest. Good, one more breath, two breaths in, and then exhale through your mouth. From here, if you could just put your feet into butterfly pose, so both feet together, uh, bo oh, ow, sorry, both feet together, the, um, he the bottoms of your feet together, you can pull those heels towards your glutes. I'm gonna keep my left hand on my left ankle for this one. I'm gonna take my right hand. I'm gonna reach my right hand over my right ear towards my left. And again, we're breathing. Good, on your next inhale, exhale, you're gonna switch. Inhale, grab your right ankle. And as you exhale, reach your left hand over your left ear toward your right side. As you're doing that, feel free to like relax your head and neck. That might touch your shoulder, but don't feel like you have to like kind of pin your neck up. You want everything just relax as you're breathing. Good. Very nice. One more inhale, exhale. And go ahead and take your legs out to a straddle pose. So you're going to put your legs in a V and out as far as wide as you can. Sometimes what I like to do is I'll, I'll kind of pull my legs back open into like a wide V and then sometimes I'll scoop my glutes up just to be able to get more of a stretch in that hamstring uh, area when I bend forward and then also my inner thigh. So from here, I want you to sit up nice and tall Roll those shoulders back three times. So nice little shoulder roll back. Good. And as you're doing that, engage that core. We're breathing. And go ahead and roll your shoulders forward. Good. 
On this next inhale, exhale, you're gonna raise your hands above your head and we're gonna go into a forward fold from this position. So inhale. As you exhale, bring those hands up over your head and then go ahead and inhale and exhale down, rolling your body forward. My head is pointed and facing the ground. My nose is pointed to the ground and you can bring those arms out to the ground. You can walk them away from your body and just let your head hang between your arms. And you can stretch into this and deepen this uh, as much as you like. We're gonna hold it for about 45 seconds. And as you're doing that, don't hold your breath. If you're tight, inhale and exhale. And as you exhale, if you wanna go deeper, walk those hands further away. And we're just holding. If you wanna point and flex your toes, you can to get a little bit more stretch in opening up that body just like a car we're moving we're creating movement and so we're getting that uh, oil just moving around in our bodies good and you're going to stay in this position on the next inhale exhale you're going to walk your hands to the right so towards your right foot and you can grab your right ankle and then pull your nose towards your knee if you wish, or just go to where you feel comfortable. Inhale, exhale, walk your hands to the right and go ahead and flex or point your toe as you see fit and go ahead and just move as your body feels right, holding that nose to your knee. Hopefully you're getting a little bit of a stretch in that left hip. And we're just holding. Inhale. As you exhale, walk your hands over to your left hand side. Good. Pull that nose towards your left knee. Inhale, as you exhale, come back to seated position. Let's elongate that spine. So reach the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Go ahead and roll those shoulders back. So you have a nice wide open chest. You can just place your hands on top of your thighs. And my legs are still out in that V and I'm just pointing and flexing my toes. If you wanna roll your ankles and your wrists, you can. We are gonna go into cat cow um, in about one more Oh, like two more minutes, I would say. And so just kind of get those ready. From this nice high position, I'm gonna have you guys all rotate. So I want you just to rotate your torso, take your left hand, reach your left hand back behind you, take your right hand, place it on your left thigh and just rotate your torso towards the left, looking back behind you and just hold that position while having good posture and inhaling and exhaling. Good. And right now we're just seated on the ground with our legs out in a V and we're just twisting towards the left. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, slowly come back to center. My feet are in a V, a nice straddle stretch on the ground. I'm gonna roll those shoulders back. Make sure my posture is really nice and tall. I'm gonna inhale. As I exhale, take your left hand and reach it towards your right thigh. Take your right hand and place it behind your back and just twist your body, looking away towards your right shoulder and we're just breathing and holding in this position. Again, really focusing on that breath, but also just stretching and stretching and deepening that stretch. Getting our, our, our spine nice and nice and lubricated with all that lactic acid moving. Have nice good posture. We're gonna inhale. Exhale, slowly come back to center. We're gonna to transition to some cat cow. So if you wanna go in a tabletop position on all fours, you can. 
If this is more comfortable for you from a seated position or a wall position, that is okay. So we're gonna be on all fours where our wrists, elbows, and shoulders are all in line. And our knees are, um, I would say, about the body's length away from your hands and have a nice flat back to start. Good. We're gonna arch our spine for cow pose. So you're gonna dip your belly, so let your belly hang and your head's gonna go back, inhaling and exhaling. So really letting your belly hang and if you feel the need or want, just move your hips around a little bit. So when we're in this cow pose, it's really about relaxing our belly and then bringing our head up, looking towards the ceiling. But you can kind of move those hips around. You don't have to be super rigid. Good. So just in this nice cow pose, really just holding it. Good. now we're going to press the floor away and press our spine up towards the ceiling, rounding it up tucking our chin to chest as we go into cat pose. And again, you can move your hips up and or side to side if you want, as you try to tuck your pelvic floor in, inching that spine up towards the ceiling as high as you can. And if you feel again, the need to kind of snake your body or what I would say is just move side to side and wiggle, feel free to do that. Let's get some movement in our spine. If you're feeling a little stuck, or tired in areas of your body, feel free to just move around intuitively as you feel that you need. And just be grateful for our bodies today for showing up. And we're still in that cat pose. And we're gonna go into um, just eight rounds of cat to cow. So as you inhale or exhale, you'll go to one pose, so cat pose, and then as you Actually, as you exhale, we'll go to cow pose. And then as you inhale, you'll go to cat pose. And you can just do that with a breath cycle that meets your needs. So from cat pose, we're going to do an inhale. As you exhale, let that belly hang and have your head go back. Good. Inhale. As you exhale, round those shoulders and spine up. Tuck your chin to chest. Tuck your pelvic floor in. Inhale, exhale, open. And go ahead and do this at your own pace. We're going to do this for about one more minute. And I just want you to really focus on that breath. And again, as you're doing this, if you feel like you need to shake your hips, like my hips feel really tight today, so I'm just shaking my hips a little bit, I'm just kind of moving them. Do one more inhale, exhale. And then you're gonna, we're gonna go into child's pose so you can give your wrists a little bit of a break. So inhale, as you exhale, spread those knees out wide, our heels go together, and you're gonna press your glutes to your heels, dropping your head between your arms. My arms are fully extended. If you want, you can drop down to your elbows and then rest your head on the mat if you wanna give your hands and wrist a break. Now, as you're in this position, I want you to take the top of your head and I want you to pretend like someone's pulling it away from your tailbone. So we're just going to focus on breathing and just uh, extending our spine or elongating our spine. So you want the top of the head to feel like it's pulling away from the bottom so that we're getting really nice stretch between each vertebrae getting it that space it needs to be able to function the best, all those nerves in our body that need space to be able to fire correctly. And I'm just looking down at the mat from here. Now, as you're breathing, I'm gonna just tell you next, we're gonna go into downward dog. So we're not quite there yet, but we'll transition back to tabletop. And then we're gonna tuck those toes under and we're gonna lift our hips up toward the ceiling and go into downward dog. Now you can do this from the wall or from the mat position, that's up to you. So inhale, as you exhale, let's go back to tabletop position. Very nice. Inhale, 
As you exhale, tuck your toes under and then lift your hips up towards the ceiling, created that inverted V. And we're gonna hold this pose for five breaths. Inhale, exhale, pushing those hips up to the ceiling and then put your heels down towards the mat so you get a nice stretch in your um, calves and hamstrings. Inhale, exhale, good. Inhale and exhale one more time. And we're gonna come right back down to tabletop. Inhale, exhale to tabletop, good. From here, we're gonna go right into child's pose to give those wrists and elbows a little bit of a break. Inhale, as you exhale, widen those knees, put the heels together and push your glutes back. Again, you can keep your arms fully extended looking through the mat or you can drop your elbows down. And we're inhaling and exhaling. Now we have a little bit of a, a downward dog series today. I want to make us work a little bit. And I also want us to, again, keep that focus of opening our hips and chest. And so we're going to do some, some different things with downward dog. But this is going to be kind of our rest in between just to make sure our wrists don't get too tired. And if at any time you need to transition to the wall or a chair, just let me know and I'll accommodate. Inhale. As you exhale, go back to tabletop. We're gonna go right into downward dog again. So inhale, as you exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up. Good, looking straight down, push your heels down. And now I want you to pedal your feet. So you can bend your left knee, bend your right knee. And we're just pedaling our feet in the downward dog position. Inhaling and exhaling, really pushing that head between your shoulders towards your chest and see how that feels as your hips go higher towards the ceiling as you're pedaling for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, tabletop position. Now, if you want, instead of um, child's pose, you can just go onto your knees and just give your, arm, your wrists and your arms a break. Good. We're gonna do downward dog two more times. And each time we're actually gonna do a little leg lift with some leg circles. So we're gonna challenge ourselves a little bit with downward dog and some balance today. And I'll explain a couple ways you can do that. And I'm gonna just talk you through it and uh, we'll do it together. So we're gonna inhale. As we exhale, let's go back into tabletop to get ready for some more downward dog. Good, inhale, <laughs> excuse me. Exhale, tuck those toes under, push those hips up. Good. Now you can pick a leg. I'm going to do my right leg first, and I'm going to lift my right leg off the ground into the air. Now you can go straight back, or if you need more balance, tuck your knee towards your chest. And what you're going to do is just rotate that leg. So you're going to draw circles in the air with that leg. You can take your knee to your chest and kick it out. But basically, just imagine you're drawing big circles with your leg from that downward dog position. Now, if it's too hard in downward dog or it's, you don't feel like you have enough balance, you can do that from tabletop position as well. So it's up to you. We're going to just go 10 more seconds and we're just drawing circles with our leg in the air, either from Excuse table. No. Oh, yeah, go ahead. When you say tabletop position, you mean because I'm sitting in a chair. There's a oh, seat yeah. everywhere I can do it. So when you yes. say you mean up sort of with the hands forward or? Yes, you can do it with, um, uh, if you're in the chair, you can do it slide forward a little bit and just draw in your knee, like lift your knee up and then just draw circles with your knee from your hip. Oh, and then bend over, bend down for the uh, down with dog or whatever. Uh, so yeah, was, exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, great. And, okay, for three. Thank you. No problem. Two. One, you guys can relax. So you can go down to tabletop or just prop yourself up on your knees. That was our right side. We're going to do our left side next. And again, you can have your, when you're in downward dog, just kind of give your wrists and elbows a break. When you're in that downward dog position and you're drawing circles with your hip or your foot, don't feel like it, it can be messy. Like this doesn't have to be pretty or like pointed toe. 
I want you really opening those hips. So if you feel like your hip is stuck when you circle to the back, circle the back a little bit more. So really just feel your body uh, and where it needs a little more work. All right, last time with this down, downward dog kind of position for these um, opening hip circles. Again, you can do this from tabletop or downward dog. Inhale. As you exhale, tuck your toes, push your hips up, and then go ahead and lift that other leg in the air and you can begin circles. So for me, it actually feels better if I have my knee bent as I'm creating circles and coming around. And I'm going one way and then the other way. And you should be sweating a little bit. Good, keep going. Inhale, as you exhale, put your foot back down into downward dog. Push those hips up, heels should go down. Inhale, as you exhale, come back down to tabletop position. Good. All right. Now from here, we're gonna do what we call the lizard pose. <laughs> so I'm in tabletop position. I want you to take your right foot and I want you to place it outside your right hand. So for the chair position, if you're in the chair, you can place your hands um, either in front of you on the ground or as far as they can. And you're going to just move your right foot to the outside of your hands. And you're just gonna lean forward a little bit. And just as you lean forward, put that weight on your right foot. So my hands right now are just on the mat. If you wanna deepen this, you can put your forearms on the mat or bend a little bit further as that foot is near where your right hand was. And we're just breathing deeply into our hips, inhaling and exhaling. Feel free to rock back and forth. I just find myself rocking back and forth today a lot. So you can kind of pulse your leg back and forth, putting more weight on it. You can shimmy your hips back and forth and we still have that right foot out. You can pick your, um, pick your heel up and put it back down too, if you like. Good. Now, keep your position here. I want you to take that right hand and reach that right hand up towards the ceiling. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. Inhaling and exhaling for a good chest opener. Inhale. As you exhale, place that hand back down on the ground and then put your right leg back into tabletop position. We're gonna do the other side now. Take that left foot and place it as far forward as you can next to your left hand. Good. And again, you can kind of put your weight on that left leg. You can draw little circles with your heel if you want. You can rock back and forth really getting a nice, good stretch in those hips and that inner thigh. Breathing. And if you want to get a deeper stretch, you can drop down to your forearm on the left and right side. It's funny, I can do that with my right hand, but I can't go to my forearm with the left side. So that's interesting. Always interesting to see where our differences are on both sides. Good, now take that left hand and lift it up over your head, looking towards the ceiling. Good, reaching back, opening that chest, looking at our fingers, wiggling in the air, inhaling and exhaling. Good. All right, inhale. Exhale, slowly bring that hand back down and take that left leg and place it behind back into our uh, tabletop position. <laughs> awesome. Go ahead and relax in any way you want to give your wrists a break if you need it. 
You can shake out those hips if you need to. All right. We're gonna do a little bit similar for what we were doing, but we're just gonna go a little bit lower. So we're gonna do a lower lunge. So we're gonna go right back to that tabletop position, but in step, instead of your, your right foot going outside of your hand, your right hand, you're going to bring your right foot between your hands as best you can. But we're just gonna lunge forward. So stepping that right foot out away from your body. And if you can, both hands can stay on either side of the mat or the floor. And if you can't, that's okay. You can place them on top of your knee as you stand tall. And you're just going to push your opposite hip forward as your left leg relaxes on the ground. So for me, I can't actually get both hands on the ground, but I can lean forward and get a really nice stretch in my left leg by keeping my left knee on the ground and just reaching my right knee forward. So right now I'm looking down. Now I want you to adjust your posture, put your shoulder blades back a little bit. You can look up if you want to, but having a nice good open chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Good. As you inhale this time, lengthen your spine. Pretend someone's pulling the top of your head away from your tailbone. And now we're gonna add a twist. Inhale, as you exhale, take that right hand and reach back towards your right foot, looking at your right hand. And we're breathing. Good. Come back to center, inhale. As you exhale, bring that right knee back. Place both hands on the mat, inhale. As you exhale, bring your left foot forward between both hands. Good, now again, you can keep both hands on the mat or on the floor if that works for you. You can also bring them to your knee with a nice high chest. Really just feel where you need the stretch. You can lean forward to start. So lean forward, push that right hip towards the ground as your knee and foot relax on the ground on your right side. If you lean forward, you might get a little bit different of a stretch. Good. Now go ahead and place your hands on your knee. Have a nice high chest on your left knee, excuse me. Inhale. As you exhale, take that left hand, reach back towards behind you, towards that opposite leg, reaching and stretching, looking at your fingers wiggling, inhaling and exhaling. Good. Inhale. Exhale, come to center and go ahead and bring that left leg back and back into tabletop position. Beautiful. All right. We're going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, another downward dog into half pigeon pose. And so I will walk us through this. So from tabletop position, we're gonna inhale. As we exhale, tuck our toes, and we're going to go into downward dog again. So into downward dog, and just make sure you're breathing. Good. You're gonna take that right knee and bring it towards your right wrist. Good, and just relax your shin and your foot on the mat. You're gonna square your hips and you're just going to fold forward. So you can just have your right hip face, or sorry, your right knee kind of tucked up towards where your right hand was. And you're gonna take your left leg and just extend it back, relaxing. And then you can just kind of cave down onto your knees. So you can go into your forearms if you want. You can look down and we're just in pigeon pose. 
So our hips and everything are squared forward and our knee is just tucked underneath our body. And we're just holding this position for about two minutes to deeply stretch the glutes and the hips. Now, if you're in a chair, you can pull your right ankle over your left knee and then you can hinge forward. So then you can bend over that knee to get a nice stretch. So almost forward folding over that stretch. And you can, if you want, just wiggle back and forth. You got about 15, 20 more seconds. And we're gonna go to the other side. Good. Inhale. As you exhale, go back to tabletop position. Inhale. As you exhale, bring that left knee towards your left hand. Extend your right leg out flat on the ground and then hinge forward or lean forward or collapse forward onto your forearms, pinning that left leg underneath your body, getting a nice good stretch in your glutes and your hamstrings and go feel free to move around if you can get a deeper stretch for pigeon pose and again from the chair position you can take that left ankle place it on the top of your right knee and then forward fold over it inhale and exhale inhaling and exhaling good just holding this position Releasing anything, any tension we're holding from our hips. Good. Very nice. We'll be going into warrior one and then the humble warrior next. So from this position, not right yet now, just to saying what's next, we'll go to tabletop and then in a downward dog stepping forward into warrior pose good about 15 more seconds of this go ahead and wiggle those hips a little bit see if you can go a little deeper good inhale as you exhale let's go into tabletop position good inhale as you exhale, tuck those toes under into downward dog. Good. Pedal those feet a little bit. And then we're gonna take that right foot. We're gonna step forward as best we can and then lift our chest up, shoulders facing forward. And you're just going to have a nice high chest. Now, instead of having one arm, like your left arm out in front of you and your right arm back, you're gonna take both hands in this position and place them and clasp them behind your back. And you're gonna push your shoulder blades together and hold this warrior pose. This again is a chest opener with warrior pose. It's called humble warrior. Squeezing our shoulder blades together, rolling our shoulders back with our hands clasped behind us. We're holding this position nice high chest big belly breaths inhale exhale inhale exhale one more inhale exhale from here you're going to ex um, push your hips back Place your hands back on the mat, then walk that right foot out if you can from downward dog, stay in downward dog, and then reach that left foot out in front of you to do the other side, bringing your chest up. For humble warrior, take those hands, clasp them behind your back, Roll your shoulders back, nice high chest. My pelvic floor is engaged. And I'm inhaling, filling my belly nice and deep all the way through my abdomen and exhaling through pursed lips. 
inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring that left foot back. Place your hands on the mat into downward dog. Good. And stay in downward dog. Push those hips up towards the ceiling. Pull your head through your arms towards your chest and pedal those feet into downward dog. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. From here, inhale. As you exhale, lower your body towards the ground, keeping your elbows nice and tucked towards your side. Good. You're going to have your hands flat on the ground in line with your armpits. We're going to do some Cobra Pose. Inhale. As you exhale, push your elbows together, lift and push your chest up towards the ceiling, looking up towards the sky, letting your lower abdomen push into the ground. On this next inhale, exhale, you'll slowly lower yourself to the ground with your elbows tucked, inhale, Exhale, slowly come down. Good. We're gonna do that one more time. And if you're in a chair, you can just do little tricep dips as your legs just extend out in front of you. Inhale, exhale, press up, keeping those elbows tucked to your chest. Inhale, and exhale. Good. From here, we're going to go back into child's pose. So inhale. As you exhale, put your heels together, push your knees out, and push your glutes back towards your heels, dropping your head in between your shoulders. You can place your elbows on the mat and just relax in child's pose for just a minute if you want to rock back and forth on your hands or on from your shoulder blades i'm sorry from your elbows you can really focusing on the middle of your back and just stretching it out any tension we hold so much tension in our neck and our shoulders go ahead and wiggle it out And on our next inhale, exhale, we're going to go back to tabletop, to downward dog, to standing. So inhale, exhale to tabletop position. Inhale, exhale, tuck your toes and lift your hips up into downward dog. Inhale, and as you exhale, walk your feet forward to standing position. Good. Let's just catch our breath so we don't move too quickly because we're standing for the first time in a little bit. You're going to widen your stance. So as wide as you can comfortably go, have your legs nice and wide. Your feet can be pointed out at a 45 degree angle. Good. Just for right now, just roll your shoulders back and just inhale and exhale. We're just going to do a nice forward fold, but we are going to do that with our, again, our hands clasped behind our back for a nice chest opener. So take your both hands, my feet are again nice and wide, clasp them behind your back. I want you to push those shoulder blades together, widen those that chest, and check in with your pelvic floor, engage that pelvic floor, tuck that belly button towards your spine. And let's just breathe from here, inhale, Exhale, feel your spine, the tip to your tail, your head to your tailbone, just elongating. 
on our next inhale, exhale, you're slowly gonna go into a forward fold where you just hang your head. Inhale, my hands are still behind my back. Exhale, slowly hinge at the hip, coming forward, looking through the ground, and ultimately just letting my head and my chest hang, stretching that spine forward. If you want to shake your hips, you can. If you want to get a little bit of an extra hamstring, you can pedal your feet. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Good. From here, inhale. Exhale, slowly come back up to standing. You're gonna take your hands and go ahead and relax them at your sides. I want you to take your right foot and turn your right foot out towards your right, about 90 degree angle. You're going to pivot your whole body so that you're facing your right foot. Your shoulders are nice and square. Take your right hand, reach it out over your toes. Take your left hand and reach it out behind your left heel or warrior two. Good. Inhaling and exhaling. Nice high chest. On this next inhale, exhale, you're going to lift your right hand up towards the sky and your left hand's going to dip down towards your heel. So inhale, exhale, lift your right hand up like a teapot. You're left hand is going to go towards your left heel and we're just just getting a nice little stretch in inhaling and exhaling inhale as you exhale tip forward my right hand goes towards my right foot my left hand goes up in the air and you can look towards your left hand if you like inhaling and exhaling good Inhale, exhale, come back to warrior two. Good. Inhale, exhale, come back to that standing position where our feet are both pointed out in that straddle position and my shoulders are square to my hips. Go ahead and shake it out. We're gonna do the other side. Inhale, Exhale, pivot towards your left. My left foot turns out, my right foot turns towards my left. My shoulders are, face, are square with my hips facing my left foot. Take that left hand and reach it out towards my toes. Take my right hand and reach it back towards my heels and breathe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. On the next one, we're gonna dip forward. So hinge at that hip, inhale, exhale, hinge at the hip. My left hand goes towards my left toe and my right hand goes up towards the ceiling. If you want, you can flex your toes up or down. If you wanna get an extra stretch and you can look towards your right hand in the ceiling if you like as well. And we're breathing. Inhale, exhale, slowly come back up and then tip the other way. Right hand goes towards right heel, left hand comes up towards the ceiling. And I'm looking up towards the sky right now. Good. Inhale, exhale, come back to that starting position with our feet out nice and wide. You're gonna walk those feet in to a comfortable hip width distance. And we're gonna do a standard forward fold before we go back down to the mat and lie on our backs. <sighs> Inhale, as you exhale, bring your hands up over your head, reaching towards the sky. Hinge at the hip, tuck your pelvic floor in, tailbone tucks in slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Come down into that forward fold, really nice and slow, letting your arms and shoulders hang. Let's get that nice stretch. If you wanna pedal your hips back and forth, you can. You can also grab your elbows and twist. 
Think of like a snake slithering along. You want your spine to slither along and be really mobile. Shake your head yes and no. Can you go a little deeper? Inhale. Exhale, slowly come back up, tucking your tailbone first, stacking each vertebrae on top of yourself until you're fully standing, nice and slow. Go ahead and roll those shoulders back three times and then roll your shoulders forward three times. And now we're gonna come down to our mat, flat on our backs. So from flat on our backs, go ahead and place your bottoms of your feet on the ground. We're gonna do a little bit of hip bridging. So my feet are flat on the ground. You can scoot your heels towards your glutes or scoot your glutes down. My palms are flat on the floor. Engage your core, so tuck that pelvic floor in. Inhale, and as you exhale, push your hips up towards the ceiling. Squeeze those glutes, and then come back down. Inhale, exhale, push up, and then come back down. Just go at your own pace for some Little hip bridges, kind of make sure we're working those pelvic floor muscles a little bit more on those glutes. Squeezing your glutes, driving your shoulder blades through the ground, really elongating that spine. So stretching that spine out, your knees over your ankles and your shoulder blades into the ground. Inhale, exhale, relax. Put both of your feet together and just drop your knees open for a nice butterfly stretch while laying down. And feel free to rock the boat. I never say this, but you can rock back and forth from your hips. Inhaling and exhaling. Now go ahead and place your feet back together. So pretend there's a zipper from your toes to your pelvic floor. Take your hands and place them at your um, shoulder height, but palms facing down, just stretched out. Drop your knees to the left and look to the right. Inhale. Big, big inhales. Exhale. Sometimes we get shallower breathing as we get tired. So big inhales. Exhale. Bring those knees back up to center. Drop your knees to the right and look to the left. Big inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. We're gonna fully extend our legs out. And we're gonna go into some Savasana, just lying on our back, closing our eyes. You can have your palms facing up or down, you choose. Usually if they're down, you're grounding into the earth. If they're up, it's like you're receiving a message. It's up to you. Depends on what type of yoga flow you like. just breathing, checking in with your body. If any part needs to be worked out a little bit more, thanking your body you and give your body little hugs, like a little squeezes from your hands for showing up today. <coughs> <clears throat> Letting go of anything that you don't need to carry anymore and releasing all that tension that we just worked out in this flow. Continue to big belly breaths in through the nose, filling that whole belly up and exhaling through pursed lips. Go ahead and continue to focus on your breath. If you want, you can do a four, 
six, eight breath, which is great for regulating too. You inhale for four, hold for six, exhale for eight. So inhale for four, hold for six, exhale for eight. Or you can do the two, two, one breath, two quick inhales and exhale. I'm going to stop talking for just a minute while we finish this before we come back. So just breathe. slowly come back to wiggling your feet and hands bringing your presence back to your body and where you're at and ready or ready we can get into a crisscross applesauce take your time nice and slow we're gonna end how we started it's one of my favorite ways to end classes is just how we started so crisscross applesauce Again, taking your time. Nice, good posture. Roll those shoulders back. Close your eyes and just inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly open those eyes and let's just smile because smiling's nice and it's Friday. Big smile. Be proud of yourself for showing up today. Thank you so much for joining this class with me. I appreciate you all for showing up. It was great for me too. And thank you. That was class today. Thank you. That was really relaxing. <laughs>